Hello my beautiful queens! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here! So for those of you who have not visited my channel before, welcome! I'm so happy that you're here. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you like this video if you like it. And then also make sure you subscribe so that you know the next time I post. And for all of my baddies who have been here and who have watched my videos, welcome back. I love y'all. So happy that you're here. Let's get into the video, okay? So as you all saw by the title, this video is going to be covering all the viral products that have been all over my TikTok For You page, that have been all over Instagram. Like, whew, okay, I've... I purchased all these products with my own money, first and foremost. Video is not sponsored at all, so I'm giving you my honest, genuine reviews. I've had these products for about like over a month. Almost every single product I've had for over a month. So I'm here to give you all the tea, here to tell you the truth about all of them, and let's see if we're wasting our money or not, mujeres, because we have no time to be wasting money out here. Well, now that we're hydrated, let's jump into the video. First things first, we are going to jump into the skincare that I've been influenced to purchase. I feel like y'all already know the first thing I'm about to show you. <laughs> this freaking snail mutants has been all over my TikTok for you page. It's been all over the TikTok shop. Like, holy smokes, everybody's trying to get their hands on this right now. And it's been out for a while, and it's been viral for a pretty long time as well. I would rate this product a 9 out of 10. Reason being, I've had it for quite some time. As y'all can see, it's been used. You're supposed to use this product after you've done all of like your serums and your actives. Your skin is supposed to be damp before you put this on. If you don't dampen your face before you put this on, it may cause irritation. It's probably just going to like sit as a layer on your skin and not actually absorb into your skin barriers so good at night i feel like i wake up with like the most juiciest plump skin and then before i do any glam look when i have my skin prepped i feel like it makes my makeup look so good like i just look so glowy so this stuff gas worth it however some people are actually allergic to snail mutation so be careful if you're allergic if you notice any redness or irritation like go return it if you bought it from Ulta, you can return it. If you bought it from Sephora, you can return it. In pair with that, I also bought the All-in-One Snail Mutants Cream. I would rate it like a 6 out of 10, reason being I don't see a huge difference when I use this. I only use it at night for the same reason I only use the Snail Mutants at night. It's just too hydrating for my skin for me to just go about like my daily life, especially wearing it under makeup. It just doesn't fly like that for me. But... For my acne prone girlies, if you have very dry skin, this is extremely hydrating and it works really well. It does leave a nice glow when you use it, so. Next on the lineup, we have Bioma. I know y'all have been seeing Bioma all over social media. They've been all over my TikTok. Not these products specifically, mainly this product right here, their moisturizer, but their melting, melting jelly cleansing balm, which I have not tried yet and I want to try. But Bioma is doing its thing. Like, these products are so freaking good. I will say, though, this clarifying serum that I've been using for my acne and just, you know, like, clear my face of any debris or any of my pores, just, you know, trying to keep a clear face, okay? That's all I'm trying to do. This stuff right here, I would rate it a 6 out of 10 because I haven't seen a huge difference in my skin. I've been using it for about a month now. If anything, it caused more irritation. It has blue tansy pha and zinc i've never used anything with blue tansy on my skin before so that may be it but it's not working for my sensitive combination acne prone girl right here it's just not working for me so i would give this like a four out of ten what is working though is this right here their brightening serum i have noticed a significant difference in my dark spots and my acne scars with this product I had a lot of dark spots here and here on my face and luckily this product has been helping clear some of the dark spots that are happening on my face and to kind of soothe some of the redness as well. I would rate this product an 8 out of 10 because it has helped my skin so that's pretty good. I also love their moisturizing gel cream. This is gas. Oh, I love that sound and it has a beautiful pump as well so it's very easy to administer on your hands. 
But this right here has niacinamide and green tea. So if you have redness, if your skin gets irritated, that green tea is there to help calm. Niacinamide is supposed to help with your textures and your pores. So this stuff has been really good. It has a gel-like consistency. So that's good for my acne prone girlies. And I would rate this a 10 out of 10. And I only use this at night because I have a different moisturizer in the morning for my dermatologist. But at night I will use this or I'll use this. I've been favoring this one over this one. But this one has been leaving my skin very plump and glowy and hydrated in the morning. And it actually sinks into my skin rather than just sitting on the top. Because I've noticed with some products that I've used in the past, at night I'll put them on, it's supposed to be moisturizing and all this jazz, and then in the morning I go to wash my face and I feel like I'm just rinsing all my moisturizer away, which is not worth it. That's not worth the money at all. So this stuff, 10 out of 10, gas. Next on the lineup we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask right here. And before y'all say, girl, just use Aquaphor. Listen, I have like six tubes of the Aquaphor ointment, okay? I have used it, I absolutely love it. But this right here, I adore. This is a 10 out of 10. Reason being, it leaves a very beautiful pink glow on the lip. You know what? I'll just show you all right now. How about that? Let me take my little blue masking tape off. Because I will use this morning, night, in the middle of the day, anytime. Right here. Y'all see how glowing my lips are? Like, mmm, mmm. It leaves my lips... A lot more hydrated and a lot longer than like my Aquaphor one. So next on the lineup is this Acne Exfoliating Toner by Peach Slices. Gas. 10 out of 10. Let me tell you why. I'm about halfway through. My acne has been clearing up while using this freaking product. I've never used the Polish Choice one before. I've only used this one because it's way cheaper than the Polish Choice and they do the exact same thing. But this has BHA and AHA in it. It's an exfoliating toner. And this has been helping my skin so much just controlling the cystic acne and the pimples that I have. Gas. Its active ingredient is salicylic acid. Get yourself some of this because this, worth it. Worth every penny. I will be repurchasing this. And then this, I know y'all have been seeing this on your TikTok page. Boom, baby. This right here, the facial cleanser, this is the Antimicrobial Skin Smart Facial Cleanser. The active ingredient is Hypochlorous Acid. I've been using this every morning, every night, and coming back from the gym. The, you, all you gotta do is spray it on your face, let it sit on your face for two minutes, and it takes away all acne causing bacteria that just sits on your face, yo. like. Cleanse that away and then that way you don't have to like go home and cleanse your face like four or five times, especially if you have irritated skin. I only cleanse my face in the morning and at night and then throughout the day, like if I go work out, if I go on a run, if I go on a walk, I'm spraying this on my face afterwards. I got this off of Amazon, gas, 10 out of 10. So that was all I had for the skincare and now we're going to move on to the viral body care things okay let's get into it i'm gonna start off strong all right i love this freaking stuff this is the 40 cheerios sol de janeiro this spray i love the smell okay mm, i'm about to spray some right now because this stuff smells so good oh it smells so good it smells delicious only reason why I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, it doesn't last long at all. I don't think I would ever buy this again. Reason being, I feel like I could find a different scent that's a lot cheaper somewhere else and that's longer lasting, okay? That's the only issue I have with this. It doesn't last as long, but it smells so good. So, I guess save your money unless you, unless you're balling like that, then go ahead, girl. Go off. Next, I've been using the Elastic Cream. From Sol de oh, it's not focusing. There we go. From Sol de Janeiro as well. I've been using obviously a lot of it. This stuff has been really, really good. It smells. Oh, it smells so good. This I have noticed the smell does last longer than the spray, which doesn't make any sense to me. I use this mainly because it's a retinol mimicking like plant collagen. So I put this on areas where you know I want my skin to tighten up a little bit more, mainly on my legs and my thighs. It smells so good. I wouldn't spend the money for it though. I don't think I would ever buy this again. It's way too overpriced. Like it's way too overpriced for the scent to not last as long. 
I've also been using this for about like three months and I haven't seen any difference in my legs or my skin at all. So I think these two are definitely for the hype. So if you got the money to spend it, go ahead, ball out. But if you don't, save your money. It's really not worth it. And then a dupe of the Sol de Janeiro stuff that I did get my hands on is the Brazil Nut Body Butter from Trader Joe's. I've used a lot of it. As y'all can see, I'm already hitting the bottom of the freaking container. I just have to clean the sides out. This stuff is really, really good. I'm rating it a 7 out of 10. Reason being, it smells really good. The scent lasts a while. However, if your skin is not damp while you're putting this on, the lotion will start to like flake off. That's what I've noticed at least on my skin. So I've had to dampen my skin and then put this on while my skin is damp. I didn't know that. It doesn't say to do that. That's the way it's been working for me. But this stuff, gas. 7 out of 10 and it was like $6 from Trader Joe's. So this is worth it way Like look. Look at what you're getting. This is way worth it over this. Next, I'm going into, y'all already know it, the Dozier Perfumes. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's the brand right there, Dozier. But I bought their Fruity Brown Sugar, Amberry Vanilla, Fruity Almond, Floral Lavender, and Amberry Saffron. So I got five different perfumes from them. And to say the least, Dozier, Y'all keep it up. Y'all are doing your thing, okay? That's all I have for body from TikTok viral stuff. I'm, I need a sip of water. Ah. Okay. Vamos. So now we are entering the makeup. This setting spray. Gas. I have an empty one here to show y'all that I've used all of this setting spray. And I have another one ready to go back up. The Charlotte Tilbury setting spray is so freaking good and i've used so many i've used the urban decay all nighter the benefit professional the morphe setting sprays the nyx the maybelline the l'oreal i've used so many the tart i even got the tart one right here right in front of me like i use so many different sprays this one has got to be the one that has locked in my makeup for the longest amount of time my makeup doesn't move it doesn't transfer it doesn't budge it's like hairspray for your face it's so good. 10 out of 10. Charlotte, you did your thing. I love, 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 love this setting spray. Love it. I cannot wait to get the full size because I only got the little baby ones. But they are so, it's good. It's worth, it's worth the money. It's worth the penny. Especially if you wear makeup a lot, you're sweaty girly, and it's hot where you're at, or just like your makeup just slowly starts to come off throughout the day or whatever. Use this. I promise you it won't. Elf. Y'all already know. I absolutely love Elf. If you saw my last video, I use a lot of Elf products. This is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter Elf Foundation. I like this product. I'm rating it an 8 out of 10. Reason being, it is so freaking glowy. Like, if you have any texture, if you have any acne, if you just have, like, any kind of normal skin it's going to accentuate those features so beware about that i normally mix this foundation with another foundation like i use my estee lauder foundations as y'all can see like what i use these all the time so i normally pair these two together for the glow and then for the coverage i just like the glow and i also like how it's a little bit darker because i can never find a product that's just my shade so this stuff is good, just an 8 out of 10, because not everybody can use it, but it does look really good on the skin. It's also not full coverage. This is more of like a tint. Next, y'all already know, staying on the e.l.f., the Hydra Grip Primers, y'all. These two right here, you know I've had this for like the minute that they came out with it, because it's that old ass packaging. Like, this is so old. I don't, I don't need, if y'all have this packaging like this video or leave a comment because this is so goofy to me like all the packaging looks like this that everybody uses and this is just an old ass one that i've had for a while but i've used all of it and i'm almost about to be done with this one as well because it's so freaking good this stuff is like glow for your face i'm going to rate this one a six out of ten and that might start a war that might start controversy but let me tell you why I'm rating it a 6 out of 10 because I've noticed that I will put this on and then I'll put my foundation on. 
I'll use a beauty blender. I then go to apply my concealer and use my beauty blender to blend out my concealer and my product will lift up off of my skin like in patches and it makes no sense to me but this has caused that so I don't like this one hence why I haven't repurchased a green one because I don't think I will I'm definitely sticking with this one this 10 out of freaking 10 I absolutely love their pink hydro grip one it has a 4% niacinamide it's supposed to help with your texture pores and also just dark spots so they add a little bit of skincare in there with that but as y'all can see I've used a good amount of this I probably use this primer every single day for my everyday makeup for my full glam makeup it's just gas it's so good I haven't had any issues with it my makeup doesn't pick up like off of it like how it did with this one right here 10 out of 10 worth the money and it's only like $10 like that's a steal the next product that I absolutely love this is the Maybelline peach concealer I know there's been a lot of peach color correctors out there but I have seen this one on my for you page it's worth every single goddamn penny it's worth $11 okay I want it to be more pink I was expecting this product to be more pink so that was a little disappointing, but the overall like functionality and the performance of the product is a 10 out of 10. Next is the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Bronzing Drops, 10 out of 10. Easy. I have had no problems with this product. It hasn't broken me out. It hasn't irritated my skin. It creates such a bronzy, glowy look to the face as well. It's beautiful alone and it's beautiful under makeup. I've not had any issues with this. It is worth the $38, okay? Like, this is worth the money. Or you could use, like, highlighter under your face, or you could use the L'Oreal Luminescence Drops. I haven't tried those yet, but I heard that's a dupe for this product. Only reason why I like this product even more is because there is a skincare component to it. It has omega-3 fatty acids, which is good for your skin. And it also has antioxidants as well just for a protective layer for your skin so that's why I really like it and I feel like it does do everything that it says it's gonna do 10 out of 10 next you all already know this is my shit right here the makeup by Mario contour stick gas 10 out of 10 I love it it gives a beautiful contour to the face it's right in the neutral shade I wouldn't say it's a cool toned contour I would say it is right in the middle of warm and cool. It's definitely leaning more towards the cooler side, but it still has some warm undertones as well. But it's super easy to blend. It looks beautiful on the skin and it also comes with a brush. So I think that that's worth the penny. I would repurchase this product. I'm not, let me see. Okay, I'm close to running out, but I don't use it like every single day. I use it more so like full glam and everyday products, but I would repurchase this product or I would try the milk one because I haven't tried the milk one yet. Next, I'm going to talk about the Rare Beauty blushes right here. These are gas. They're so freaking good. They just look so beautiful on the skin. I will say though, make sure you're paying attention to the box when you are buying these products because this one in the shade Happy is a dewy blush. This one in the shade Love is not a dewy blush. The shade Love is a lot harder to blend out than the shade Happy. So if you struggle with blending your liquid blushes out, I would move towards the shade Happy more so over the shade Love. The shade, the shade Love though looks so good for like that strawberry tomato girl makeup. It's so beautiful. It has a beautiful red hue to it. And you could also mix this in with like some hyaluronic acid and bada bing bada boom there you go but the pigment is pigment ah the pigment is pigmenting in these blushes worth it worth the dollar worth the penny worth it all if i could get all the shades if i could buy all these shades i'd buy all these shades but i can't i mean i could but i don't want to because that costs a million dollars and last but not least on the makeup is the one size setting powder in the shade ultra pink this stuff is gas right here, okay? 10 out of 10. It's blurring. It stays where you put it. And it also doesn't have any dang flashback 
when you are taking pictures. This stuff is so good, it's so beautiful, and it also helps just kind of blur any of the textures or pores that I have. I will also put this on right after I put on primer. I'll use the setting powder in my T-zone area to kind of control the oil throughout the day, and it does the job every single time. So worth it. I feel like anything from one size is worth it. I haven't heard anything bad about any of the products and I wanna try them all so bad, and I will. They're just a little pricey, but this is worth it. I think this is definitely worth the pretty penny, so. Yeah, that's all I have for you today. These are all the products that I've been using for like over a month, like. I cannot believe how many products I really am out here just buying, but I buy them so that y'all don't have to, okay? So save your penny or go spend that money depending on how you reacted after this video, but I'm so happy that you watch. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope this week is nothing but beautiful blessings, all good vibes, all good energy coming your way always. Y'all already know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and also hit that notification bell so y'all know the next time I'm posting. Have a good week. Bye.